This video will talk about the definitions of geometric objects. In geometry, a point specifies a location. It doesn't have length, width, or depth. A point is not a thing, but a place, which means it doesn't have any dimensions. In fact, it's one of the undefined terms in geometry. An undefined term means something we accept is true and can use as a building block for the rest of the subject. You'll be learning about three undefined terms in this video. To represent a point, use a dot. This is not a true representation since a dot has width, but it helps us visualize the location where the point is. Points are usually named by using an uppercase letter. On their own, points can represent any location in space. Together, they can help us define some more objects in geometry. Through any two points, you can define a line. A line is a set of infinitely many points that extends forever in both directions. A line is also undefined in geometry because it doesn't actually have width. The line you make with your pencil is just a representation to help mark its place in space. The points that define a line can be close together, far apart, or in any other location in space. As long as you have two points, you can make a line through them. A line is represented as a straight line with two arrows at the end. This is to signify that the line goes on forever in both directions. Remember, there are infinitely many points in a line. You would never be able to count them all, but you only need two of these points to name the line. So this would be line AB. Points that are on the same line are called collinear points. Sometimes a portion of the line starts at a distinct point and only goes in one direction. This is called a ray and has an end point at one end with an arrow on the other end to signify that it goes on forever in that direction. Just like a line, you need two points to construct it. Since it goes to infinity in one direction, you can't measure a ray. If you take the original points again and connect them so that they are both endpoints, then you have a line segment. A line segment is a portion of a line between two points on that line. Since a line segment has two endpoints, you can measure the length of it. So with two points, you can define a line, a ray, or a line segment. But what about if you add a point? With three points, you can define a plane. A plane is a flat surface that is infinitely large but has zero thickness. This is the third undefined term in geometry. Planes are usually named with a single capital letter. Now that you know the three undefined terms in geometry of point, line, and plane, let's use them to define some other terms. In a plane, two lines can be parallel if the distance between them is always the same, meaning that the lines will never intersect. These lines are coplanar because they are on the same plane. But what if two lines don't lie on the same plane? What if they lie on different planes? Could they still be parallel? They could be, as long as the distance between them remains the same for all points and they never intersect. If you have a set of parallel planes, would all of the lines between the two planes also be parallel? Take a look at these two lines. They will never intersect, but they are not parallel because the distance between them is not always the same. These are called skew lines. Skew lines are those that never intersect, but are not parallel. Another good example of skew lines are those on opposite sides of a cube in different orientations. These two red lines are skew because they are not parallel, but will never intersect no matter how far out you extend them both. If two lines intersect at right angles, they are called perpendicular lines. And a line that crosses at least two other lines is called a transversal. If you take two rays and give them the same endpoint, you have an angle. And an angle bisector is a ray that cuts the angle exactly in half. If you take a point and want to find all the points equidistant to that point on a plane, what shape would you get? You would get a circle. And if the points were not restricted to a plane, but could be anywhere in space as long as they are equidistant from the center point, 
then what would you get? You would get a sphere. Based on these vocabulary words, try the following problems. What geometric object is formed by two distinct rays with a common endpoint? Best way to figure this out is to draw it. So from one endpoint, draw two rays, and you can see that you have formed an angle. What term describes two coplanar lines that do not intersect? So coplanar means they are on the same plane and draw two lines that never intersect. You can see you have parallel lines. What geometric object consists of the set of points between two points on a line? So draw a line, draw two points on that line, and then shade in the line between those two points. As you can see, you have created a line segment, a set of points between two points on a line. Try one last problem. Identify the following sets of lines. For part A, the lines are not parallel, but will never intersect. This means that they are skew lines. For part B, the lines intersect at right angles. So this means they are perpendicular lines. And for part C, the line crosses two other lines, which would make it a transversal. In review, a point, a line, and a plane are the undefined terms in geometry that give us a starting place. They are our building blocks. These terms are then used to define other more complex terms, such as angle, ray, parallel lines, skew lines, and circle. Happy solving!